In Mark chapter 15, right after Mark's account of the crucifixion of Christ, we're introduced to a man named Joseph of Arimathea. It's the day before the Sabbath, and Mark said, as evening approached, verse 43, Joseph of Arimathea took a risk and went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Joseph was an honored member of the high council, and he was waiting for the kingdom of God to come. After confirming that Jesus was dead, Pilate told Joseph he could have the body. Joseph bought a long sheet of linen cloth. Then he took Jesus' body down from the cross, wrapped it in the cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been carved out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone in front of the entrance. So who is this Joseph? And what's significant about his role in the crucifixion of Christ? The gospel tells us that Joseph was a respected member of the Jewish council, a leader of wealth and high standing. Mark also said he was looking for the kingdom of God. Matthew refers to him as a disciple of Jesus, and we see him do something that the other, more famous disciples of Jesus didn't do. He took courage and asked Pilate for Jesus' body. Then we also see Joseph wrapping the body of Jesus in a linen shroud and placing it in a newly cut tomb. Both the tomb and the shroud would have been quite expensive in those days, which begs the question, why would Joseph do these things? The answer, relationship. I think Joseph knew Jesus as more than just a teacher or a leader, and that the depth of relationship naturally led to a life of sacrifice. And that's my hope for you and I today, that as we read through scripture together and learn more about Jesus through the gospels, just like Joseph, we'd very naturally begin to risk more to be more courageous, and to sacrifice more for our Savior every day.